In this video, we're going to find the range of a function that has a restricted domain. And in particular, we're going to find the range of the function f of x equals negative 3 fourths x minus 2, where x is limited to the domain from negative 2 to 16. Okay, now I guess the first thing we ought to do is look at our function and ask ourselves, what is that? Uh, what kind of function is that? Well, negative 3 fourths x minus 2, this fits the model mx plus b, so that fits the model of a linear function. This is just going to be a line, a line with a slope of negative 3 fourths. Okay? And a line with a negative slope is going to look something like this. Okay? Actually, this is a segment, not a line. And the reason I'm drawing a segment is because we have a limited domain. This is going to go from negative 2 something, I don't know yet, to 16 something. Don't know that either. So now, I guess, uh, what we need to do is find our somethings. Okay? Let's, uh, let's find the y-coordinates of these two endpoints. And that's a pretty simple process. All we have to do is just say, well, what's f of negative 2? f of negative 2 is going to be negative 3 fourths times negative 2 minus 2. Negative 3 fourths times negative 2, that's just uh, 3 halves, positive 3 halves, because it's negative times negative, minus 2, which is negative 1 half. So there we go. This is negative 2, negative 1 half. And to find this endpoint, we say, what is f of 16? It's negative 3 fourths times 16 minus 2. Negative 3 fourths of 16 is negative 12. And that's going to be negative 14. So now we see that this is a segment that goes from the point negative 2, negative 1 half to 16, negative 14. Our domain goes from this x-coordinate, negative 2, to this x-coordinate, 16, and our range goes from negative 14, that's the low point, up to negative 1 half. So our range here is negative 14 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to negative 1 half. And we're done.